Hey guys, what is going on there? It's the videos up here, and today we are playing the seventh episode of my Rogue Trilogy One series. As you will know, we are now with the letter G. Yes, G. And we will. That gives us a choice of Germany and Greece to play with. Um, as you will see, though, we get Greece. We wasn't too happy about this. <laughs> they haven't got any. I can't see that because the left and right wingers do have quite a lot of pace, so that's what you need for FIFA, for instance. Really, you're not going to get anywhere without pace. So. That was quite decent. I wasn't expecting anything from Greece. I don't really understand why people would choose them. But anyway, that's who we got. That's who we got to play with. Don't know why we're doing that, but I know. Uh, so yeah, the pace on the left and right wing. No pace from the striker, unfortunately. Which wasn't what I really wanted. I tried to change the striker out, but there wasn't any other strikers. So as you can see there, we're against Santos, which I was kind of worried about. Um, Na obviously Neymar stands out there. Um, I didn't realise at the start, but then I just see Neymar's name and I was kind of scared. But it didn't <laughs> didn't really make much of an impact on me. Uh, we did get quite an early goal, and just Samras on this team is amazing. He's just he basically set up everything, and he did end up scoring. <laughs> I was pointing that out there. Um, I don't really want to ruin it too much, but as you can see, that goal there, oh, that was a lucky goal. Uh, I, w I was pretty gutted when I didn't score first off, but then I did end up with a rebound, so I was okay. Uh, <laughs> it didn't bother me too much then. The goal's a goal, an early goal against Santos, which I was quite pleased about. It gets us on the lead on the way there. It makes it a bit easier for us during the rest of the game. So that was all good. Uh, as you can see now, it's just kicking off and it doesn't really much happen for quite a while now, which is unfortunate. But anyway, I would just like to say uh, thank you for your response on the last video. It didn't get many likes, but it got a few comments and quite a lot of views. Uh, it's just, just If you did missed it, it's just a squad builder for this new series that I'm doing. It's basically introducing it as well. Uh, so that new series should be up tomorrow. Uh, I'm not too sure yet, but it should be up tomorrow. It's, I've been trying it out and it's not going great but uh, it should work out after a while I'm just not used to playing with the, the bronze teams on FIFA but uh, of course you've got to try something new and it is a good team to play with of course it's got a lot of pace if you didn't see it uh, but it's a good fun team to play with uh, it's got a lot of different variation in it pace, there's a couple of 4 star skills in there uh, but I do have to change them in sometimes during the game it's they aren't as good all round, but they do have the skill moves, so they can be quite fun to play with. Uh, so there we go. As well as I said, Samras on this team, he, he basically made the game for me. If it wasn't for him, I think we might might as well just not play the game at all. I've, I've never really played with him on Ultimate Team. Uh, he might be able to check out. Cause I do remember last FIFA that uh, Fets Fat Cedis is how you say. It. But anyway, he used to be amazing on the last FIFA, like 87 pace. I've I believe I'd f I can't remember if had 4 or 5 star skills, but it was definitely a player to get on FIFA um, 12 for uh, any silver team. But I looked at his stats on this and they're dreadful. Like, they had like 75 pace, stuff like that. Uh, 4 star skills, yeah, this. I'm, I'm sure he had 5 star on the last FIFA, but I could be wrong there. There, I should have really scored. I don't know why I headed it. Uh, I should have just brought it down and shot, but we were 2 0 ahead anyway, going into half time, which is all great, all good. What we need. Uh, as you can see, the same guy scored. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that name because it just it will fail. Half times that's pretty fairly even. Uh, obviously, I was two goals ahead, which is what we need to be. Uh, well, that's the only stats I really care about at half time. The goals, I don't really care about possession or anything else. Does that don't really matter? The goals are the goals. The goals going to win you the game. Nothing else. So yeah, so we'll start in the second half. There's not much goals on. I believe this this goal fairly soon. It could be here actually, yeah, this is the next goal that we score. And after this goal, uh, things, something happened, which isn't what I, exactly what I wanted, but there's nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> As you can see here, the circle of death pops up and it disconnects. Fortunately, it was him just rage quitting, but I can't really do anything about it. Of course, I would have liked to finish the game and it would have made it a longer gameplay, but there's not much I can do. Uh -huh. But a win's a win, <laughs> a three 0 win against Santos, which I was quite pleased with, especially the main player on that team, Neymar, obviously. But it's a win, and a win's a win. It's getting us one step closer to 
that division one where we want to be so as you can see now we are on the six points which is great um, it's, it's, we've nearly won every game that we've played apart from that one game we're probably the best team i played with so that kind of sucked but anyway guys that's just wrapping up the video uh, thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe and goodbye